All right, here we are back in the second culpa. We're going to turn this in and we're going to go with it. Alright, so here's the thing. We did a lot. We did a lot of grinding in the prison to try to get some better demons. Um, I got some decently better ones, but not the greatest right now. We're not not as good as I want them to be. You'll see all of our money, our level. Um, still got this one. This is a fusion. Just to fuse a couple guys, get them out of there. This is where my high pixie and. Uh, the one guy went, uh, the one that had all the lights and all that stuff. Sati's a really good one. So, this is another good one. Actually, Power and Ara and this one, I don't, Araha Baki, however you want to say it. Um, power, if you do it with a Naga, makes Hellbiker, which I'm going to get whenever he gets enough levels to fill out his stuff. And then this one and Sarasbati make a Dionysus, which I want, but he does not get that many moves, so I need to level up him to the Arabaki to be able to uh, be able to inherit more moves, basically. And right now I do have the Estoma on. I did it to get through here, or get to here. So once it wears off, we'll see what kind of monsters we're dealing with. So that's what I got going on. Like I said, it was a lot of grinding. There was a lot of grinding. The good thing about it is, is if you... Uh, did the one where they come to you, sometimes you would fight enough battles, and they were all most of them were weak to fire. So it was really easy, because fire is an easy move to get. Um, sometimes you get like... 1600 experience off of one deal of battles. Alright, am I in a maze? Is what's going on. But you do that and they give you a lot of money. And so it was pretty simple to grind there. It wasn't like it took forever. I mean, there was some time sunk in it. Just basically because I was leveling up demons, which I know probably isn't the best way to go about stuff in this game. I'm sure fusion is what you should be doing. But whenever you just get them and you don't have that many moves to inherit, you don't get to inherit very many moves. And it's kind of like all the magic. If you don't inherit all that stuff to somebody that can use it and has better magic, I mean, and all they got is fire. Of course, get attacked from behind. Please don't. Oh, okay, you mana drain power. So please don't mana drain everybody. Okay, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember what them guys are weak to. They might have been weak to everything. Oh yeah, he's got Dark Might. I forget about Dark Might. It's such a good move, and I forget about it every time. I'm just doing attack. These guys are pretty strong, apparently. thing about Sarah's Vati is they got the uh, mana regain. Oh my god, Kamikaze. Oh, I didn't even know we were going to level. I guess we leveled up. I've been working on my vitality, so that way we have plenty of health. I do not want mana drain. I do not care about mana drain. There, they hit us with lightning. See, here's the th also the thing, is with all of our guys, we've got two recarms now, so that's all we have to do. Uh, let's change our Magatama right quick. We've mastered some of these. Uh, I want to do the electricity one. If they're going to do that, then I want the electricity. There we go. 
Okay, so now where am I going to go? There's a jump down deal. I don't want to jump down until, it, until we've explored. How am I getting attacked from behind every time? How does that work? This this would be a lot better one if we can... Oh, they were weak to it. Oh, well that's... A lot better. But my Copa Tengu and... Principality... I say Copa Tengu, it was somebody else. I can't remember his daggum name. It was a different name. They went together to give me the Sati. Principality and the Tengu. I had fully evolved him, and so... So, do I not have anybody that has just a... I thought I had somebody still that just had a... Uh, one person heal. I might just... If I keep getting attacked from behind, then we're going to <laughs> make it to where we're not getting attacked. Because I'm... I'm not down with getting attacked from behind the whole time we're playing. I mean, like, the team is really strong. Really and truly, the team is strong. It's just... trying to... Please don't start throwing out money. I'm just a little bit, like, with this team, I'm not really good single... like, finding a single person. I'm good for, like, crowd control at this point. Which is fine. But I need to be better at a uh, single person, which I think it's the Sati. Yeah, Sati has all my buffs and everything as well as like magic. So she's really integral to it. Only bad thing is she's weak to ice, which is pretty common for people to have. Let's see here. But whenever I get the power of the Naga, they become a Hellbiker, and that's... And now I almost fused him, but I really want him to have some good, like, moves. Like, I need to get Naga back, because whenever he evolved, he actually learned a uh, counter on that last level. So I need to do that again, and like, not let him evolve. And then whenever power gets enough, then I can get Hellbiker fused with good fight, you know, good physical techniques. Or decent enough that he's usable. Because if you don't have him with some kind of decent fight techniques, I mean, you're kind of just fusing a bot basically just to take damage. I don't want to go down that ladder yet. And that's what I don't want, because that's what I kind of did at the start, is I was fusing some guys just to fuse them. After I kind of decided I wasn't going to level guys up, because it took forever. But then I figured out, well, then you... The, the more attack slots somebody has, I don't want to go down that ladder either. But the more attack slots you have already going into the fusion, the more stuff they'll be able to inherit. And so instead of just inheriting two attacks, you can, like, get four or five you know, basically almost fill them up before you are done. And so, that that's kind of what I'm going with. These guys aren't anything. These guys aren't even worth. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's kind of what the plan is now is... I, I don't want to spend that much time grinding people for their next attacks, but whenever I have like somebody I'm gonna fuse them into, and I'm like like the hellbiker, I'm like, well, I I'd, I'd like to make him serviceable at least. You know, I need him to be serviceable as far as we're going to actually be able to do damage with him, and he's gonna be able to be used. Because I'm sure at the, kind of close to the end of the game, I'm going to be fusing people just to get them in my compendium. Because I'll need to complete it. And that's fine. Like, if I have to, if it comes down to doing that, then that's fine. I just, 
Right now, I don't want to. Right now, I need to have guys that are usable. I guess I should have used force on that one, but that's fine. That's kind of the plan going forward, is I just need some, I need usable demons that are good. I mean, and it sucks that Sati's weak to ice. If she wasn't weak to ice, I'd be like, okay, this is a really good demon. You know, this demon's going to last me for a long time. I mean, that was kind of the way with Principality. Principality was a good one. And so was the Serge Vati, which a little bit of it was because I made them into... just really good grinding machines and so that's what they work for is grinding like I said single target we're not we're not single target ready that needs something in it is this red one a okay that red one's not a weak one I thought it might have been. Blob and Black I can't remember which one is the weaker one. Power's a really cool guy. It's just... I didn't ever use him. He come Like, if you go get him, he's level 33. So he's really good. It's just... You gotta get some techniques with him. Okay, so that's probably a door that leads back to that starting area. So I need to jump down one of these areas. Let's search everything else right quick. B chain, that's a good one. Like I said, having two people to recarm. I mean, there's just a lot of good things that have come from grinding them. And plus, I've kind of learned better how things interact. Like, I've got to try different things, like, as far as fighting and status effects and stuff like that. So that's always good. Like, having that kind of knowledge will help later. Uh, that I think we take these guys out if I do this. Yeah. But it's, like I said, as far as trying to do, like, trying to figure out new ways, that's kind of what I want to do because it's. I mean, like you can see, I just kind of do, I, I find this deal, and that's great, and that's kind of what I did against the prison, is we kind of just, okay, that needs a key. That's probably the one that, the key doors are probably the ones we need to go in, so I need to find a key somewhere. Alright, quit attacking from behind, my lord. So especially these Onis, because all they're going to do is crit these berserks to everybody. I'm already tired of y'all. This is what will make me estoma them because I don't care to sit here and fight these guys. Like if they keep getting it, like I guess I should have used mine's eye because that keeps us from getting done in like that, but. I mean, I really was hoping to get some good training in on power, but... Okay, so there's two more drops. I, if we get attacked from behind again, I am done. I'm so tired of Oni. To be absolutely honest, already I'm tired of Onis.
And they don't give crap for experience. Let's just estoma it, because I feel like this is going to be a long one. And it was alright whenever we were getting those, uh... One dudes that were giving us, I mean, 428 experience. That's a lot of experience. It's alright whenever we're getting those. And they didn't damage us that much. No. Like, that, since they didn't damage us that much, I was fine with it. Ooh, okay. I, wonder, I hate that it's on no. I wish that that stuff defaulted to yes. So there's got to be a guy that's selling stuff, doesn't there? If there's those two. I mean, if there's a dude selling stuff, you would think... I don't know what that door is. Let's see. It's a ladder. Wait, so is that the... Okay, so that ladder gets us back up to the top. That's a one-way door. Did not realize that was like a one-way door. Okay, so let's just get over here to this first one. And I'm going to be checking on map lock, because with this maze, I need to choose the right doors to go in, so I don't spend a lot of time going in and out. So, if it wasn't for them Onis, I'd be like, okay, this is really good, because you got that 428 experience you were getting. Oh, hey, I don't remember what this dude's name is. The reason why I don't remember his name is because actually... Is there nothing right here? I thought there'd be something... I say, is there something? That door, I mean, that deal was weird. Okay, so that's a death stone, but... Okay, so I need to be watching out for those walls. Oh, crap. This is that whole first floor, and I didn't even think that there was something like that. Um, where was I? I was thinking about something. Okay, remember, we're, we did this one, because we're going to probably jump down both of them to see. Um, the reason why I was talking about that guy is because there was a, I don't remember who fused into him, but I have two guys that did, that either did or I might still have them that would fuse into him, but I don't remember his name. I think he was decently strong, but he wasn't, he was like an all around strong. He wasn't, okay, we're in a maze. I ain't doing this fighting people in a maze crap. Because I'm in a maze where you just, I gotta find my way out. Which, with mazes, the thing I found is if you stay left, or like, pick a pick a side that you're gonna stay, then you will find your way out eventually. It may not be pretty, but you will find your way out. Ooh, who is this dude? Restbelger? What is this guy? Weak to fire, that's a good thing to know. I mean, he's got to be strong, because we're level 51, and yet we did not, like, keep him from... Oh, that's our weakness. Oh, that's not good. But we didn't keep him from attacking us. Uh, we will... Media this one. Okay, so I'm probably going to switch back to Ice. If this dude's the one that can attack us, then I want to... I mean, if he's that strong, I mean, that's... That's a strong dude. Yeah, let's do ice. I'd rather be immune to that. Hmm. I guess this cushion... I don't know why heals. I'm going to say, how does she have her MP back? Because she doesn't have the MP regenerate. That's the worst thing about Kushina, which I didn't fuse her, I didn't like see her and be like, I'm gonna fuse into that. She was just one of them that I'm trying, I was trying to free up space, basically, because I had a full party. 
and they were evolving and not getting me out of my party and I was like well I need to try to find some stronger guys okay so this is this a dead end? I think so but it looks like that's the area that we need to get to there's a way to jump down into that area is there a Okay, so it looks like that door that I was talking about, probably the one that we need, will lead us in there to jump down. Okay. So we now know that. Like I said, just stay left, you'll find something. I need to keep an eye out for these walls. Uh oh, it's another burial chamber. Oh, say. I love that the music just dies. Alright, Kawain can just... I don't like him anyway, so I'm not worried about him. I don't like his whole insta-kill stuff. Okay, that's a ladder. Do you see any walls that are weird? I do not, so let's just go up. So that's probably... this just probably takes us to the barrel chamber. Like, now I'm checking walls, and it's just making me, like, paranoid. Okay, so see, that has... Okay, so most of these areas probably have one-way doors. Okay, so first one I jumped in was the one to my left, so I need to jump in this one. Yeah, they can grow restless, because if I'd have fought somebody, um, before that strong guy, we'd have game over. I didn't realize that there'd be somebody... I figured once we use that right now, that there'd be nobody to fight us for a little while. I wonder if this is broken up, like, I'm gonna guess it's broken up into halves. Like, you have these two doors are set to one. The other two doors are set to something. That's not the way. This looks like the way to this one. There's a key. I don't know where that. There's two keys. So there's got to be a place to get this key deal at because. Wait, don't go up yet. I need to. There's got to be some good stuff in those doors, don't you think? Because there's also a key one on that first one. But I never found the key. Maybe I have to go back and check for walls. Because I didn't know that there were walls that you could just teleport through. There's one more door, and if it's not in that door, then I am completely lost on where it could be. I mean, I guess there was two more jumps that you could jump down from the first to the second level. Just tell me I get there. Chakra pot. I got those. I've not had to use them since I've got that mana gain stuff. Okay, see? Okay, there's a wall right there. Okay, so she'd at least taught us about the wall. Descend the ladder. I don't know. Okay, so there's the key. That's the moon key. So maybe that gets us through all those doors. I'm hoping it does. Like I said, it's kind of weird not fighting a bunch of people, but it would take three times as long to fight a bunch of people than it would to uh, just do this. And... Like I said, if it was kind of like an open area, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, we'll fight. But with it being a maze, it would just get really frustrating to me. And I would get frustrated easily trying to fight everybody in this while trying to complete this maze at this point. 
Like, and that's not what I want to do right now. Like, if I get frustrated, that's when I start losing this game. Especially since it's on hard. You've got to think with a clear mind every time you fight. Because if you just kind of write them off and do stuff then yeah so I wonder what's in these another desert okay so that gives us the ability to because I said I never fused a matador that's why I was able to do the hellbiker so that actually gets us the death stones to do all three matador is kind of old news now because he's not going to be strong enough for what I need this is another burial chamber Mizuchi Okay, so there's somebody else that I'm going to have right here. I don't know who the other one's going to be. Oh well. Well, I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Okay, so, oh, this brings us into a different area. We hadn't been in this one before. The Shady Broker. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. That can heal anything? That's good. Let's see what it is. It's a Nua. Nua. Whoop. Skills. We got full H. Ooh, prayer is a good one. Mipatra, that's a good one. Ooh, cures poison. Revives one ally. And it has mana refill. That is a really good one. I'll probably fuse it into like a healer buffer kind of a person. That's probably what Sati will get fused with at some point. Okay, I'm really not able to go back in that one. So I need to go... I, that one's not going to have anything because that's just like a dead end. So let's go back up. Let's heal. I don't think we've had to fight people, but... Or I don't think we'll have to fight some at the end because we didn't on the first one, but I'll say that and then... We'll fight a boss or something. Like I said, I'm going to have to bring Sati back into the team. So whenever we go to fight a boss, we have buffs. I mean, we're, we're kind of the healer right now. We're just not a good one. We, we don't have that much magic. I guess I should work on my magic next. I mean, I need to work on agility because that keeps us hitting people. And if I'm missing somebody as the melee damage dealer, then we're kind of screwed. And Kushinado will be the first one taken out of the party for that Sati, just because she doesn't have that much stuff, like, damage to do. Okay, so we can turn. I guess I should have went and opened up that one moon key door. Okay, so yeah, see, this is going to get us... That's just going to be what I use for a little while. It's going to get us jump down in that behind area. Yeah. Nope. I don't trust them because they want to rest. And I don't trust people that are like, oh, rest for a while. Especially because there's no reason to rest. Because I have a surgeon that does it all for 2000 I see that you are making steady progress in recovering the menorahs. By the way, did you not encounter a large number of souls in this realm? They are the imprints of humans in your former world who were purified by death. Even after drifting to the farthest reaches of Amala, they still cannot let go of the past. Many of them were involved with a man you've met. A man by the name of Hikawa. 
He is the one who led your world to destruction. You stand here as the result of his acts in the former world. I commend you for making it this far. I wish to tell you something that you, as a human, would not otherwise have learned. About his past, and what caused the conception. The Ring of Gaia's Headquarters. This is where it all started. They were a group who absorbed all forms of doctrine, for they believed they could discover the truth from chaos. But even within that cult, he was regarded as a heretic. Yes, I am referring to the man who changed your destiny, and that of the world. He firmly believed that his ideal could not be found in reality. That it could only be brought about by his own hand. And ultimately, he reached beyond the scope of mankind and plotted the creation of the world. Fate is drawn to a strong will, it seems. As such, he uncovered a crucial method to make his plot a reality. This was the scripture of Miroku, buried deep within the ring's library. With the scripture in his possession, he reconstructed the spinning drum of Amala. By deciphering the symbols on the drum, he gained access to the Amala universe and learned of the conception, the fated destruction of the world. That incident at the park followed shortly thereafter. You see, for creation to be possible after the conception, certain preparations were necessary. Thus, the demons which he summoned were unleashed, and a bloody act of carnage ensued. This is a man who decided to take control of the inevitable, the death and rebirth of the world. Of course, there were those among the Gaians who opposed him, and the Messians tried to stop him as well. But he eliminated both threats at once with the power of his demons. With all opposition removed, he watched silently as the conception took place. It was just as foretold in the scripture of Miroku. No, just as he planned after unraveling its prophecy. The Assembly of Nihilo was also formed at that time to aid him in creation. That is what happened in Tokyo. The conception occurred as he planned, and now creation will follow. However, the future is not set. We have yet to see what will happen. Perhaps the world can even be freed from the perpetual cycle of creation. We have faith in you, and will continue to watch you. Alright, let's see what the next one has. Oh, hey, homie. Okay, so this, it's just telling me what to do whenever I do this little deal. take the purple market in succession but I don't know I never seen purple ones oh this ain't gonna be good 
can't see that far in advance. Yeah, I can't see that far in advance. I'm really bad at this. Yeah, I'm going to be SOL here in a minute. Can you die from this? <laughs> that was not good. I'm probably like almost dead. This takes three. I guess the third call put take three. Okay, so you can't die, but you can get really close. Well met, you who were once human. The moment you stepped into this labyrinth, the wheel of fate began to spin. Time is a loop that repeats itself. However, we serve the fallen angel in order to rise above that fate. You wish for the same thing, do you not? We know thou art on a quest to retrieve the menorahs. We, the four horsemen, possess what thou seekest. Thine they shall be, if thou canst triumph over us. Denny Field, you have conquered a number of deaths to reach here, whether it be you or one of us. It is our master's wish that one fiend survive this battle over the menorahs. And when his wish comes true, he shall make the decision to lead his army to the final battle. Do you have the resolve to face us, even if it may cost you what is left of your humanity? Very well. That is just the answer we were expecting. Then, show us the strength that our master stakes our fate on. We, the four horsemen of the Apocalypse, shall meet you in the Vortex world. Dude, ah, these four horsemen are going to be a pain. I liked them from Persona 5, but they're going to be a pain. I gotta... Is there a way that I can just exit that I don't have to go back through all this? Probably not. Probably if I were to go right through there, there's... Yeah, there's an exit right there. Oh, well. We'll just have to do this.